Hi, I'm going to show you how to do a VLOOKUP. We have data where we have employee number, the name, and the employee designation. We are going to create a lookup function where we're going to put that lookup function in G6, and we're going to keep our lookup value in F6. You can use the insert function to find the VLOOKUP formula so we can see all the arguments of the formula, which is a lookup value, table array, column index number, and the range lookup. So our lookup value is going to be in F6, so we apply that in our formula. Table array is going to be our table, so we do B6 to D12, and we'll lock that in later. So we want to be able to bring back the name, so we just need to count the number of columns in our range. So because we want to bring back the name, we are going to choose 2 to bring back a value within that second column. And lastly, what we're going to indicate whether we want exact match, which is 0. And that will bring back the exact value that matches our lookup value. Finally, we can lock in that range. So if we drag the formula down, it will work. Now we have NA because we don't have a lookup value that we put in F6. So let's try 1001. And that will be mark. We can add another lookup value and return a different result. So 107 is going to bring back Steve. Now if we wanted to bring back a different designation from the third column, we would need to change that value. So we go back up to insert function. And what we need to do is just change the column number. So all we need to do is go from column 2 to column 3. And this will bring back a different result. And you can see in the indicated values that that's going to be the deputy manager for employee number 1007. Let's try another lookup value, 1001. We get the president. And let's try another one. 1003. Now this is a very easy way to create a VLOOKUP. 